going on everyone so today we are on the floor getting dirty we have a box here this is a computer desk um pretty much it's going to be in with with this actual wall this is really small computer desk but it's perfect for the size of this room i pretty much wanted a computer desk that it's not going to take up too much real estate. For example, I have a computer desk. Um, it's a really nice executive computer desk. Uh, it takes up a lot of real estate. So for kids, you know, kids, they love their space of playing. Um, however, they also need a space for, you know, when it comes to schoolwork. So this is perfect, perfect. And um, you may say, you know, this, the table is going to be too small per se, but in the instance of how we're gonna have my son's desk set up, what we're gonna have is we're gonna mount the actual computer screen to the wall, so that way it frees up table space. This particular computer desk, it also has a mount or a area that's designated, uh, area that's pretty much configured for like a desktop type of computer. So it's basically a computer shelf. So this has a computer shelf to it, and if, for instance, uh, my daughter, she has the same computer desk, she actually has a laptop. So I'm going to actually buy a um, a laptop docking station of which uh, that laptop docking station is going to connect to a monitor. And that monitor will also be uh, attached to the wall. One thing to consider is that I need to have a decent uh, stud finder so that way we can attach that computer screen to the back of the wall but we'll get to that i do have a stud finder however it's not like one of those true indeed well working stud finders you know some stud finders it's a hit or miss sometimes they may say hey found the stud but it may be off it may just be you know slightly you know indicating okay this is the stud and you drill through and you end up you know just pretty much going pass that stud so and then there's other studs that will actually say here's the edge of the stud here's another edge of the stud this you know this is the center point so those are the big timers but anyway um enough talking to you guys and you know weirdly recording from the floor but um we're gonna make this work yeah i'm old got a knife we're gonna Start to take everything out the box. Uh, this box is beat up, um, so we'll see what's going to be uh, behind door number one. Okay. Oh my gosh, we got some instructions, but it's a one page instruction. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm gonna start laying this stuff out. Hopefully I can keep everything in plain view. So I'm gonna somewhat try to go based off of the actual paper here. But you guys are visually going to be able to see. So step one is to build the left side leg. Step two is the right. And then we'll work our way to the top. Well, it's one small piece right now. So that piece here. So what I highly recommend is that you guys, you might not be able to see me doing this, but I'm putting my screws down. Get all of our screws together. We're proceeding with step one um there's two tables two tops yep so both of these tops are number two so these are number two so these are going to be the shelves all right so five goes there 
Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So according to the instructions, to build the left, I guess you could say, say it's the left leg, left shelf. We need a three. We need a 13, two shelves, which are number twos, and another right, which is, uh, this is number five. All right, so. Try to pre-install it, pre-screw it, so that way we can get it straight. not that expensive wood this is more so a refined desk where they pretty much take up you know you got like i wouldn't call it sand dust but it's definitely uh it's definitely one of those desks that are prone to be damaged if you do something wrong all right so before we get that side on i want to get these two shelves I don't want it to break, so I'm gonna try to hold it with my leg. All right, so I'm gonna grab a screw, try to feed it through. This might be a little tedious for you guys to see. should get something to pretty much keep that stable. Hmm. I need to rotate this in here around. It's not correctly positioned. So let's go ahead and get this uninstalled and rotated and get it back the way it needs to be. I'm not looking at these instructions. These instructions are bad, bad. I'm just probably just gonna proceed with the way I think I believe everything is. Did not mean to do that. All right, so when it comes to tightening, I'm gonna uh, come back with a hand screw and just pretty much tighten everything up. So let's get, uh, let's get back to it. We're gonna do the rear. This is number six. We're gonna put number six here. We'll grab us another screw. This is number four. So this is going to go this way. Take the screw, we're gonna feed it through. Bring up the rear, put the screw in. All right, so that's that. Now what we need to do is put the shelf in here. Oh. Here. Yeah, so what we're doing is putting the shelf together. This thing is it's tedious because the instructions are just pretty much blah. side let's go ahead and bring up the right side 
since we pretty much understand how to do the left, we can tackle the right. Let's go ahead and grab our show. So this one's supposed to have one shelf. Let's grab some more screws. Take the screw and feed it through. Pre-start this. Get the screw here and get this bad boy installed. Got to confirm which location it goes here. There we go. So we got that. that take this end do the same thing fill it out that one grab take the shoe do our little shoe trick use the shoe just prop it up So this is gonna be the right side. Take our screw, feed it through. And we screw that there. And use the screw gun to finish it off. All right, so that's cool. We can get it to be nice and secure. Tighten up all the sides. It's a little too tight. It's good to go. All right, so now. I'm going to install that like that. Take the screw, feed it on through. It's the name of the game. Take the screw and feed it on through. We'll see if we can get our screw down through that. Barely. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. We might end up uh, dropping the camera down, so we're gonna rotate this around. Uh-oh. We lost some screws. What we're gonna do is attach this. So here, let's take the screw, put it on through. Um, I honestly gave up looking at the instructions because it just didn't make any sense. Uh, it was hard to really understand. So I'm just pretty much doing it this way, just visually. We will proceed. So now we're going to do the back.
This is a really small desk. That is perfect for this room. That's absolutely a perfect desk for this room. I'll give you guys a visual of what we're going with right now. So this is the desk. Uh, this is pretty much shelf, shelf, computer, um, shelf, put the top on. I can't remember the technical term, but these are like, uh, they're like nuts. They're like, they lock, you know, they help stuff lock. Just pretty much gonna manually feed it down because again this is this is not that expensive type of wood so we gotta tighten tighten down these bad boys here with the manual way As soon as you hear it grab, stop. But I wouldn't advise you to use any power tools of a desk like this. It's just, it's too soft. So now I'm going to put these into the desk. Um, so let's go ahead and pick this bad boy up. So we got these holes here. Um, so we're gonna put our locking nuts or i can't i can't really think of the terminology of what these things are I'm drawing a blank it's, it's been a while it's been a very very long time since i've actually assembled something last time i assembled something was uh man i can't even remember all right kind of worked that way in Make sure that's straight. And I'm gonna repeat the same process all the way around. Why can I not get this one in there? There we go. We got two over here. last thing you want to do is put that top down and it does not line up and you end up breaking something. We're going to now take the tabletop and or the computer desktop and we're now going to take the computer top. So we're now going to take the computer desktop and mount it up. Get it aligned. We got one side over here. Hmm. Up, oh, that one came out. So I'm going to tighten it up, this side wants to, this side wants to come out.
Well guys, that was definitely a learning experience. I hope that you guys were able to pretty much get something visually out of this because when you look at the instructions, you're gonna get, hmm, overwhelmed. But uh, definitely, uh, visually, um, you'll be able to quite understand what side goes to what. As long as you pretty much, you know, after you get everything disassembled from the box, uh, pretty much get everything lined up in assembly line. Your screws, your hardware, uh, the frame, and then start to piece things out. Start to sit things out, like lay it out to visually see it, and then you'll be able to understand it. So, one thing I did want to say is it does have a keyboard sliding tray, which the tray slides in and out. As you can see here, it will basically mount here and slide in, slide out. But the thing is, is that those keyboard, the sliders, the tray sliders, um, <laughs> they're not well constructed. So um, I threw them in the trash because basically um, they slide on beads. The beads act as the bearings. Uh, so that way the slider can go in and out. Uh, it's not well designed, so I threw it in the trash. What I'm going to do is pretty much look at you know my local hallway supply or go to a furniture store such as IKEA and pretty much see if I can buy some sliders uh, and pretty much manually assemble this so that way this can work and that way it will provide more of a structure, a top structure, a more a more supported top structure so that way the top is not I wouldn't say flimsy but you kind of get what I'm going don't forget to please like comment and subscribe to my channel and if you're feeling lovely please share this video